Well, CBS News has confirmed Haitian Prime Minister Ariel Henry, who agreed to resign last week, is under U.S. Secret Service protection. This comes as gang attacks in suburbs near the capital of Port-au-Prince left at least a dozen people dead yesterday. Our Manuel Bohorkas is in Haiti. He's following the latest there. Uh, Manuel, some really sort of concerning news about all those bodies being found. Yeah, that is all happening in Port-au-Prince, the capital, where gangs in the leadership vacuum that we have going on right now have continued to take over more and more of that city. Horrific to see the images coming from there. Here in Cap Haitian, the second largest city, a bit of a different story, but there's still a lot of activity. For one, this is the airport that flew the first flight out of Haiti in two weeks on Sunday, some U.S. citizens making it back to the United States. What we have going on now is a line of people. These are either Haitians or some have showed us their U.S. passports. These are uh, people who have either dual citizenship, uh, citizenship or are Americans that have come to this airport to see if they can hop on a flight. Now, we have not heard so far that the U.S. State Department has been able to assemble another charter flight for U.S. citizens to get out of Haiti. But this should give you an idea that even in a place like Cap Haitian, which is considered to be less chaotic and less dangerous than the capital, Port-au-Prince, you you still have people that are looking at the uncertainty in this country and thinking, let's get out now while we can. Unclear, however, whether the people behind me will all be able to find seats on whatever flights may be taking off from here today. Anne-Marie? All right, Manny, thank you very much.